Howdy folks. Uh, the way I usually cut metal around here, I have a few different ways to do it, but uh, this seems to be my my go-to most of the time to cut metal. But there's some really expensive equipment that you can get that's supposed to be better than this that can really do an interesting and a really fancy job when it comes to cutting metal. Better than this. And the prices and the machines have come down in size and they've come down in prices to the point where places like Vivor offer a good metal cutting solution. So, today, let's take a look at <laughs> Plasma Cutter. Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, Vivor. Uh, they have warehouses all over the world. They sell a lot of different power tools and a lot of different things like everything from restaurant equipment, mechanic stuff. They have just a great variety of things. And with their warehouses being all over the world, a lot of times you can order something and it can be there really quickly. Good stuff, good prices. You know, it's a good place to buy something, especially if you got into something specialized like their uh, machinist type, their, their small metal lathes are better than Harbor Freights and better prices. So it's like, <laughs> it's a good place to shop around. What I've got here today is a plasma cutter. Yeah, plasma cutter. <laughs> now, if you're not familiar with plasma cutters, they, I'm gonna say they were the very best way to cut metal. If you're doing any kind of real automotive work, something like that, it's a great way to cut metal. I'm saying that now because the laser technology is kind of coming online and they're starting to get into some really powerful lasers that can cut metal. They're still expensive, they're still pricey. So the plasma cutter, at least in price range, like this one's on sale, which is another reason why I'm showing it to you today. It's on sale at Viva right now. I think you can pick this model up for about 158. And it's something, again, if, you're, if you have a, so a welder, and some scrap metal laying around and you want to get into some projects or you're working on a car, an old car especially, you know, plasma cutter is something really, really nice to have. And uh, let's get this turkey out of this box so we can have a look at it, you know. So, I got the box unloaded and we have a really good long, I believe it's 10 feet, uh, the cable here for, you know, where you're actually going to be taking your uh, cutter. So that's really cool. Also, of course, there's the machine. And we have this uh, included, which is a 220 to a 110 outlet. The machine can run uh, 220 or 110. They recommend the 220 is gonna give you a better job. Unfortunately, I don't have this type of plug for my 220, so I'm not really sure. I think we're just gonna have to run the 110 today, which I really did not wanna do for demonstration purposes, but yeah, that's what we're gonna be into. If you're not familiar with plasma cutter, think of it as like a welder that's running too hot and you're using air pressure to kind of blow through. But what's really cool about this particular machine is the cutting tip here is held off of the metal. So the tip itself is not actually dragging on the metal and the, the heat is between the tip and the metal. So it's like a, like a hot electrical arc going into the metal. And at the same time, you're also putting air pressure through, so you're blowing that, that metal through. This thing can scribe, you can make you know patterns in the metal and everything and cut. So you can do some really class act jobs with something like this. You also, of course, have a ground, and you're gonna need a good ground because it's like, it's like a welder in that part. They also include a Teflon tape, a nice little air pressure system because you're gonna be blowing air through here off a compressor. There's a couple things, of course, that we're gonna need. We're gonna need a welding helmet, and obviously we're gonna have to hook this up so we can hook up the air side of it. Now, here's a big uh, other problem that I'm seeing here that we're gonna talk about real quick, and it's the uh, power situation. Now, obviously, this 110 plug is no better than, say, a 15 amp plug, and yet the machine's output can go as high as like 50 amps on 110. So I'm not quite, I'm re really not quite sure how, they, how we deal with that. We might be popping breakers quite often before we get done here, who knows, but uh, yeah. This is, uh, for 158, this is a terrific machine for any hobbyists or, you know, anyone working on old cars or just, you know, cutting up metal, doing metal projects and stuff. A plasma cutter is really cool. Also, uh, if you have a local small bank that you want to cut into, you might be able to get through their vault with uh, the plasma cutter, you know, and get in there kind of thing like in the movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the uh, first thing we're going to do for assembly, at least, is to uh, put everything aside here for a second. And I'm just going to turn the machine around and we're going to do the Air because that's really probably the most 
sophisticated part of putting one of these together would be to set the air up and so I'll, I'll run this back this way so you guys can see it and the first thing we have to do is put that bracket on and then we're going to mount our uh, air pressure regulator now this is also a uh, water separator supposedly water filter and air so if that's the case that's great because you really want dry air going through something like this so the first thing at the back is we're going to be locating this and one of the things we want to do is we need a bracket here that's going to uh, support this guy. So it's going to go up like this up, up on here. So I took the nuts and took the outer nut and the outer washer off, left the other one on because you have a washer, flat washer on both sides. Yeah, so there we go. Nice and tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now this could get a little confusing to some, <laughs> so we'll explain it real quick. Obviously this is going to stay in there. Don't touch that. Don't take that out of there. Don't do anything with it. But this is the water air filter separator. So that's great, you know, because, and it's going to allow us to dial in the pressure that we want using this gauge, which we'll be screwing in here in a second with a piece of Teflon tape. Also, we're going to have uh, what we're going to call an out. Now the out is going to go from here, but it's going to go into the machine. Okay. So don't get confused. The in is actually coming from the compressor. Okay. So just to help everybody avoid the <clears throat> the obvious, whatever, so, yeah. Okay, so after that little bit of messing around, we've got this mounted, and we have a little uh, adjustment here for air pressure. I put a quick connect on this side because that's what my compressor has in the shop here, it's a quick connect, so I can just connect this up. They give you lots of air lines, so you could run an air line off of this and over to a uh, compressor or an extension to a compressor, something like that, but in this case, this is the, for me, this is the great way, you know, just a great way to have it in, in the shop. And uh, actually, it actually this bracket actually looks like it could have been bent up a little bit better than it is, but eh, whatever. Real quick here, at the back of the machine, you've got the 220 plug, but Viva also includes this adapter, which uh, we can, you know, this looks kind of silly. I mean, look at this, you're going from a 220 to this little 110 guy. I'm not real thrilled with this part, and I'm thinking about a couple possibilities. And one would be just to simply Take the adopter the way it is. I don't have this uh, type of 220 plug. Mine's little. Mine actually is sideways or horizontal this way instead of you know vertical like that. And I was thinking about maybe cut this off, put my plug on there, plug to the 220, and then slap this into the 220. And that way I can run the 220. But you know what? Let's try the 110 just for you know um, you know call it. You know that's what we're here for, right? Let's try it. This is the lowest possible setting, but what I wanted to show you is what a plasma cutter looks like when it's when it's actually getting you know getting going kind of thing. So we're just gonna fire this off in the air just so you can see it. Yeah, cool, huh? Okay, let's fire up the machine. Uh, I think we've got a, a go here, but uh, this is quarter inch material. I've got the machine on about half power, I guess you could say. My air pressure was actually a little high, so I had to make some, I had to just keep playing with the settings a little bit. Okay, I put a hard edge up against this so I can uh, continue to run the test. The I'm not used to the speed, so you have to sort of, you know, everything's got to be dialed in, even you, because it goes, it seems to cut faster than what I expect. And again, we'll just check it, and yeah, it looks good. So. Wow, okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, my band, my bandsaw, my grinder, whatever, would have taken all day to get through that. And yet, look at that cut, just right straight through. And they tell me that you can uh, chip away this bottom slag stuff. I don't know if that, yeah, I guess you can. Uh, but that's a nice straight cut, and it did a great little job, so. I'm going to give you a good link in the description below where you can find this machine for $158 right now. It's on sale for, I guess, the next few days. It's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to get this video out to you guys, because this is one of those shop 
uh, machines that I used to dream about, but I couldn't afford to buy. Well, now the, the price is well within the range of anybody. I've seen this machine cut up to half inch. It's not rated for half inch. It's actually rated up to uh, 9 sixteenths, but I have seen people use it up to half inch material, which of course goes back to that bank robbery thing we were talking about earlier. Yeah, you know, like you can get through stainless, uh, aluminum, of course, uh, metal, mild steels, Whatever metal you have on hand, you can you can chop it with this thing. Okay, so I took it out, flipped it upside down, and do not look at the rusty hammer. Okay, it's a long story. Yeah, it's called cheap. But look at how nice and clean that is. That's a, that's a beautiful edge from a plasma cutter. Wow, very nice. We like. Okay, I'm gonna give you the settings that I just used, but really you need to sort of dial you and your machine in, I'm sure. But the uh, air pressure right now is right on the gauge. It's about 0.2, so it's, it's just on that first two on the pressure gauge. Really confused over the instructions uh, versus what they called for. They called for six mm, which was like, I have no idea what that is, but it was like, okay, whatever. I have a big compressor, so air pressure is no problem. Uh, in fact, my compressor is set at 100 pounds, but you don't need that. You, you know, it could have been set at 50, probably it would have been fine. As long as we got that, that uh, 0.2 on the, the pressure gauge back here when I dialed it in. And then I think I used about 31, what they call 31 amps, you know, on the other side. And that was just, as you can see, it just was just slicing that quarter inch material really quickly. But if you want to do a pattern in metal and you're trying to cut something out really quickly and get it, you know, a nice pattern for like arts, crafts, or whatever you're working on, plasma is like, you know, for now, it's the way to go. Like I said, lasers are, they're coming. Hell oh, yeah, they're coming. <laughs> they're just too pricey right now. And like, for 158, and if you have a, like a metal type working shop or craft or anything going on, this is this price is just this is a this is a marvelous machine for a price. Uh, 30 percent, uh, 30 30 percent. I think they call it 30 percent duty rating on the machine. Uh, also, when you shut it off, the fan will continue running for a little bit to help cool the machine down. No panic there. Just as when you start the machine up, the fan will come on right away, but it takes a few seconds before the machine is actually up and ready to go. There's a, uh, I believe a charge capacitor in there that has to charge up in the circuitry before it can, you know, blast through to, uh, you know, create the plasma. The uh, overall kit for the price, I think is, is marvelous. It's awesome, you know, and for a small shop, I've seen some production shops that are actually using this particular Vivor, you know, this machine from Vivor, and they are saying it saves them a lot of time with bandsaw cutting and grinding and other types of, uh, you know, ways to cut metal, including those great big, you know, bandsaws. They said this thing's just fast, you just cut fast, the job is done so much quicker. And for them, time is money, you know, because it's a production situation. So again, you know, awesome. Uh, boy, I tell you, in fact, I've got a project right now. I'm thinking I might just go ahead and cut this up on the uh, plasma cutter today because I need a couple slots and a piece of steel like this and just a little buttonhole in the center because I'm making a little storage thing. Uh, I've got some doors being delivered and I'm going to need to help hold them against a wall until I'm ready. And a piece of steel like this will probably do the trick for me, for what I need anyways. Uh, man. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much for dialing in today. Monday, new tool from Beaver, you know, yeah. <laughs> and, thank, and thank everyone for subscribing and just thanks so much, gang. gang. And uh, oh, uh, we probably got a, uh, yeah, we got a giveaway coming up. Just got to get to it all. And in the meantime, thank you. And uh, please like, share, subscribe, ring the notice bell. And um, man, I gotta, I gotta go find some more steel to cut up. <laughs> that was too much fun. Over and out.